dolls. So let's chat about this. Hey, you guys, my camera. This is my third time. Third time recording this because my camera is going in and out of focus and is driving me crazy. And y'all, I just don't have the patience, okay, to do it for the fourth time. So if you see my camera going, you know, in and out, y'all just gonna have to just pay attention on the way. So a few specs on this hair. So this is a 13 by six lace frontal. So you have ear to ear lace and you definitely get a generous amount of parting space. Also, the lace is an HD lace, so the lace looks phenomenal, okay? Like, <laughs> like I'm really, really loving the lace on this unit. One thing about the lace, you do have to color the lace. As you guys can see, I did add some of my foundation because the lace looks gray, so you're gonna have to put either some foundation, powder, concealer, just so it can match your skin tone because she is gonna be, you know, gray. Unit is long as well. I'm 5'5", five five and right now the hair is touching my thighs. So she's probably like, I wanna say between 26 to 28 inches. So this unit is definitely long. So now this unit, <clears throat> excuse me, so, ooh. So it retails for $55 to $60, depending on what site you purchased this wig from. Now, if you ask me, I think any wig that's above $35 is a lot of money, okay? And for this to be $55 or $60, that's hell of a, a lot of a money, okay? $55 is a lot of money for a synthetic wig. So let's see if Miss Brielle is actually worth the $55, okay, because that's a lot. So the short answer to that is no. <laughs> um, I'm gonna explain to you guys why I feel like this unit is not worth the amount of money. Now, is she cute? Absolutely. Is this very sexy Instagram, like I'm just filling myself hair, like what frontal hair? Absolutely, okay. However, Miss Brielle tangles, and the tangle is real. Like, okay, you guys see this? You see how my, like, come on, okay? The back side, sis, I can't, I can't. I, like, I just can't. So, this side is gonna go right on the back, and we just want to keep it cute this way because that's not what I'm fit to do, okay? So someone had mentioned in the comments to use like a thick serum just to help manage with the tangle. So, you guys, I've used some of this oil on her and she still tangles. Now this is my third time putting this oil on her, okay? Now for me, if I have to keep putting products in my wig for it to not tangle for five minutes, then this wig is not for me. Because one, like if I actually wear this hair out, what I refuse to do is go outside with some holiday heart wig, look like a hot ass mess. That's what I ain't fit to do. So for this wig to cost, okay, to cost 55 to 60 dollars is not worth it because for that amount of money, the quality or the fiber should be A1. I shouldn't be getting any type of tango. I should be able to run my fingers through her effortlessly. And with this wig, I'm not getting that. I mean, as far as the shedding, I would say I'm not getting any um, shedding. Well, I'm getting very minimal shedding. Like, I'm not too critical on the shedding like that, but the shedding is not terrible. It's the tangle that is so so annoying. You may want to cut her if you do decide to go with this unit because she is cute. And I would say she's beginners friendly because she was so easy to style. I feel like I didn't really have to do that much. But if you're still interested in this wig and you still want to check her out, I'm going to leave a full description of this unit down below as well as a link where you also check this hair out. And don't forget to join Gang Gang to see when your girl drops some heat. And of course, I'll see you guys back in the next one.